Prepare for a ride as we zoom into the world of e-bikes featuring none other than the majestic Koala Sports Dolphin Plus. Priced at $1,900, this is crafted for the urban Jedi who's ready to conquer the concrete jungle while keeping Mother Earth happy. Curious already? Well, beam yourself over to electrifiedreviews.com for the full scoop. Or just keep watching the video. Most of the scoop will be here as well. Let's dive into the heart of this mechanical steed. Tucked within the rear hub is a beast of a motor packing a whopping 500 watts of raw power. It's as if Tony Stark himself miniaturized one of his arc reactors and planted it in his bike. When you're coming out, that's what I was trying to say before. With settings catering to various terrains, the Dolphin Plus is as versatile as Doctor Strange's spellbook. I hope you guys are Marvel fans around here. But seriously, the motor had more torque and acceleration than I anticipated, and it handled the inclines we tested it on very well. So what fuels this bad boy? Well, a high-capacity dual-battery system, of course, with a combined capacity of 748 watt-hours of energy, more than enough to outrun any walker for it. The Walking Dead fans, you know what I'm talking about. And with an impressive charge time, you can recharge faster than Barry Allen can run a marathon if the Flash, you know, didn't actually run it, of course. The fact that we get two batteries on a frame style like this is actually pretty awesome and something you just don't see every day in the industry. The Dolphin Plus is built with a 6061 aluminum alloy frame, as sleek as the Black Panther's vibranium suit, and as durable as Wolverine's adamantium bones. Folding geometry ensures it can comfortably accommodate riders of varying heights. It's like the transformer of e-bikes. Ready for action in any scenario. It folds up easily and really does get quite compact for a bike that can be adjusted for taller folks. Opting for a rigid 6061 aluminum alloy fork, the Dolphin Plus might not be the first choice for off-road X gamers, but for urban parkour, it's as smooth as a hoverboard on Cloud City. The tires are more of a balloon-like tire with an outside diameter of 2.3 inches, so that makes the ride feel smoother than you'd think. The saddle was comfortable, but you know, just your typical saddle, really. Nothing too special about it, but it functioned well, and it has the range of adjustability we'd want. The Dolphin Plus doesn't skimp on stopping power, featuring hydraulic disc brakes with 160mm rotors. We're talking Captain America's shield level of stopping power here. Those city streets won't know what hit them, and hopefully it's not your tender flash. The brakes worked really well and allowed me to skid when I wanted to, but come to a controlled stop when I wanted to do that. For some reason. I don't know why you'd want to come to a controlled stop when you could just skid around, because skidding's, you know, way better than, uh, you know, control stopping. Geared up with a 7-speed Shimano Tourney drivetrain, the Dolphin Plus provides smooth gear shifts, and even though I prefer a thumb throttle like the Shimano SIS Index Shifter, the trigger shifters here work really well. Don't really have uh, much to say or any complaints about them. The Dolphin Plus is as packed with features as Batman's utility belt, a 5-star integrated headlight, sturdy steel fenders, a bell, and even a kickstand. The grips also have a locking mechanism, which is a huge plus from a safety perspective. All in all, the Dolphin rides well and has extras to make it pretty versatile. The Dolphin Plus is the perfect sidekick for urban explorers, daily commuters, and weekend adventures alike. Its compact design, powerful motor, and array of features make it as versatile as a TARDIS, ready to tackle anything from daily commutes to weekend trips in the future. It's not bigger on the inside, but it is definitely built for travel. Since you can fold it up into a relatively small package that is 33 inches by 15 inches by 28 inches, it'd be perfect for throwing in the RV or slide in the back of the SUV for transport. You can even roll it when folded, and thanks to the magnetic locking points, this is actually a usable feature. Grab your sunblock, your swim trunks, and let's head outside for the ride test. All right, guys, we are out here for the ride test on the Dolphin Plus from Qual Sports. As you can see, we've been on pedals since level five, so let's just get into it. Do a little pedaling here. And we are cruising. Now the acceleration here is actually pretty surprising for a smaller, you know, 500 watt motor. It gets you up to 20 miles per hour pretty quick. And, you know, it's a decent cadence for when you're at pedal assist level five and hitting that top speed of 20 miles per hour. That's a decent cadence. Go down to four. Let's see where four wants to get us. Maybe they're flying some kites. Four has us cruising about 17, 18, and three. So three guesses. His brakes doing good. Love the fact that we've got hydraulic brakes here. Always nice to see. Now the grips here do have locking mechanisms. I think I just need to tighten mine down a little bit because they are moving just a smidge. But that's on me if I rack those things down. Wouldn't have to worry about that. So pedal assist level three, 
Still kind of take me up to that 20 mile per hour mark. Plus this level two. Let's see where that wants to go. Right about that 12, 13 mile an hour mark. Impel assist level one. I think I'm just kind of pedaling that fast. It's giving me a little bit of boost, but that's pretty much me cruising at that 13, 14. So let's go ahead and turn it off. No pedal assist. Pedal like a real bike. You know, this isn't, uh, this really isn't bad to pedal around as a real bike. And we've got pretty good pedal geometry here. The saddle, you can put up to a nice spot. The handlebars are adjustable. So yeah, you can cruise around about 15 miles per hour very easily. This is electrified reviews, guys. Let's get this down, let's try the throttle here. Cruising. Now this is kind of fun, just cruising around at 20 on this bike. Very nimble, we get those very small wheels here, so. Oh yeah, very nimble. And again, super easy to stop. Now some of you might be wondering at this point in the review, probably not if I explained it correctly, what the plus is in Dolphin Plus. Let me hop off the bike here, in a little bit of a sunny spot, and I'll show you. So as you can tell, on this bike, you do have the seat post battery, and that's the style that we've seen, you know, across Quality Sports line. The Beluga has the same thing, but what those bikes don't have is, and turn this off real quick, a secret secondary battery. Boom! So if you pop this up in, you see we've got this other battery in here. Let's check the levels on it. 58% this one is and yeah that's a pretty dope pretty dope extra thing that most of these bikes don't have and latch it back up got a nice solid latching mechanism and yeah that was one of those things that uh, really makes this a standout for me because we just reviewed the Beluga recently so then we're getting on this bike the Dolphin Plus and I was like oh that's pretty dope we got a whole extra battery down there which means, you know, more miles, less time that you gotta spend charging your bike, more time you're out there riding around. And you can just be cruising. Again, the uh, maneuverability here is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's actually quite a bit of fun here. And the acceleration is great. Let's go ahead and ride around over here. I'll talk about a few more things and see, see how the dolphin does on some of the inclines over here. Yeah, for something that is, you know, pretty light, very portable, it has a lot of get up and go, and a lot of keep going with that extra battery in there. So all in all, guys, I would say that I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Love the hydraulic brakes, love the, uh, the maneuverability, and I like how we can, uh, can we adjust it to fit us for short, for tall, don't matter none. Just hop on it and hop on riding. All right, we're gonna scoot over here. Take it down this incline. Take it down the decline first, I guess. Gonna test those brakes out. Oh yeah, that's easy. That's easy. Lots of control. Definitely got those brakes dialed in here. Trails are probably closed. So let's go ahead and well let's let's be fair and do a little downshifting first. Alright, so we shift it down and brake. You can make a really tight turn on this bike. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and slow down and just head on up here, see, see how she does. I'm barely putting in any work. I mean, it didn't fly up the hill, but it steadily went up the hill. 
And that is kind of what we were looking to see. Gonna make another tight turn. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Oh, super easy. Super easy. I mean, you can tell the motor is, you know, it's working, but as you can tell, I'll go ahead and do that again. It is, uh, yeah, I'm barely putting in any, I mean, I'm not really pedaling up the hill. I'm just kind of moving my feet. Let's do one with just the old throttle sensor. Throttle sensor, that's not a real thing. With the old thumb throttle, tight turn. Oh yeah, it's got it. Slowed down a little bit, but like I said, this thing is ready to roll, baby. All right. Woohoo! Yeah, that actually handled it better than I had expected, that little hill right there. Now again, that's nothing crazy, it's nothing sustained, but it is pretty cool to see that. Let's go ahead and do another braking test right up over here. Get to about that 20, and give her a pound. Let's give the tires a little bit, but that was, that's probably like 10, 11 feet. It's plenty of time to stop if you're paying attention to where you're going. And the hydraulic brakes, like I said, love to see them here, especially on you know some of those folding bikes. They tend to go the mechanical route just because, well, you know, it's a little bit cheaper and maybe you don't necessarily, you know, need the hydraulic brakes. But at this point in the e-bike game, it's kind of what we'd expect on pretty much every bike that we come across. So yeah, all in all, I am pretty dang impressed. So if this is a bike you're gonna, you know, throw in the RV, throw in the back of the SUV, I feel like it can handle a ton of different terrains. Now the tires, like I probably mentioned already, a little more of a street tread, so not something you necessarily wanna take off-roading. And today the trails are closed, so I'm not gonna do that. But, it probably could handle off-road all right. Man, this the, I don't know, I like that. Look how fun that is. Zoo, zoo, zoo. You gotta make the sound effect, otherwise it's not, uh, it's not as cool, everybody knows that. Woohoo! Man, that was dope. I gotta end it there, right? It's not gonna get a better slide than that, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. This has been our review of the Dolphin Plus from Qual Sports. If you wanna know more about them, I'll have a link to them down in the description. If you guys wanna know more about this, all the specs, all that good stuff, you wanna compare it to some of the other bikes they have or some of the other folding e-bikes in the industry, you can head over to electrifyreviews.com. We'll catch you there. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next one. I almost forgot my own catchphrase there. That'd be embarrassing if that made it into the video. In the sprawling multiverse of e-bikes, the Dolphin Plus shines brighter than the Infinity Stones. Its strong 500 watt motor, impressive 748 watt hour battery, and versatile frame make a super powered ride for any urban adventurer. Priced at a competitive 1900 bucks and boasting a solid one year warranty, it's a safer bet than betting on the Avengers to save the day. If not for the time traveling Paul Rudd, you know, they really would have lost at Thanos anyway. For more electrifying reviews, continue your journey with us at electrifiedreviews.com. Until then, live long and prosper, and we'll catch you on the next one.